Well, new this morning, we're taking you behind the scenes of the walnut harvest right here in Northern California. Our state provides more walnuts than any other place in the globe. And a few folks wanted to know, how do they get them off the tree? <laughs> ABC 10's Mark S. Allen, who's shaken a few trees in his day, he is live near Yuba City. So, Mark, I, I know we're anxious to find out how this whole, all these walnuts get to the ground here. I can't wait to show you. And first of all, you're about to see gorgeous images of what it's like to be in a walnut, uh, uh, on a walnut farm. Right now, it's a little disconcerting. It's a little Blair Witch creepy because about every five seconds, I hear one of these things drop off a tree and I'm certain it's the boogeyman coming to get me. In the meantime, I want to talk to you about walnuts and how great they are. Also, you're probably storing them wrong, but I'll get to that in a moment. In the meantime, take a look at the first shake. That's me on a mechanical harvester for the ceremonial first shake of the season of what's expected to produce 1.44 billion pounds of walnuts. 99% of the nation's walnuts originate right here. California Walnuts has just appointed a new CEO, Robert Verloop. With great power comes great responsibility. You know, walnuts are probably one of the biggest unsung heroes in California agriculture. We grow on 450,000 acres. It's a huge opportunity for us to continue to grow the industry, um, and I'm honored to be able to do that. Ashley DeValentine McKenzie runs DeValentine Orchards with her family, a fourth generation walnut grower in Sutter County. Does it blow your mind that all those years ago, a century ago, your great grandfather stood here and planted some walnuts? Yes, it does. It's truly amazing to be on the same ground that my great grandfather and my grandfather my parents, and now my brother and I are farming as well. I love it when nature teaches us something, and you were just sharing with me that the walnut itself will remind you that it's good for the heart. It will. Actually, I have one right here for you. If you cut it open just the right way, you see a perfect heart shape in there, which reminds us walnuts are heart healthy. I feel like I got a channel with Huel Hauser. That's amazing! <laughs> Ashley's dad, Steve, sums up growing up in the world of walnuts. Walnuts were always kind of special because the trees are so large and beautiful and when you're out in a walnut orchard you almost feel like you're in a national forest. It's just beautiful. Ah, beautiful is an understatement. You can't tell now, of course, because the sun's not out, but just gorgeous. Makes you feel like you should break out a picnic, your charcuterie board, and on it, some walnuts. Which brings me right to my next point. 75% of Californians surveyed say that they store their walnuts in the pantry, and you shouldn't. You should put them right where you put your cheese in the cheese drawer. They need to be refrigerated, so take that lesson with you. Uh, also, trivia you should know, it is the world's oldest tree food dating back 7,000 BC and over 500,000 football fields. That's the equivalent of walnuts grown in California. Back to you. I think I've got some walnuts from 7,000 BC in my pantry. I need to move those into the fridge based on what you're telling me. Okay, Marcus Allen. Oh, look at you. You're featuring yourself. All right, I love that. The juggling walnuts. Who knew?